So I'm assuming you've completed your run cycle or walk cycle already. Your cycle is working and you're happy with the results. Now you're ready to have it move forward. So we're essentially copy and pasting keys from the foot to the root control, then multiplying all by negative one. So a little basic math is gonna help us do some heavy lifting. In order for this to work, I start by making a few adjustments on the translate Z curves of the feet. Let's select the translate Z in the graph editor for the left foot. We'll start with the left foot first. You can see that on frame five, six, and seven, the foot is on the ground. So we'll work with this range. Start with frame five, take one of the tangent handles, make that linear. Do the same for frame seven, make that tangent handle linear. And we can get rid of any keys that are in between. Switching to linear tangents will help keep the foot consistent while on the ground. That way you don't have to worry about any shifting with ease-ins or ease-outs or any overshoots or anything like that. We'll do the same thing with the right foot, translate Z. See that frame 11, 12, and 13, foot is on the ground. So once again, make that linear. We know we're getting rid of frame 12. And on frame 11, that tangent handle will make that linear. Okay, so what we want to do now is select the range of keys of the foot while it's on the ground. Either foot will do since they normally have matching values in cycle. So, got the range between 11 and 13 for the right foot. We'll go to edit, copy, and we'll now select Normally you can select the root control, but in my case, there is an offset controller, so we'll select that. I, if possible, I prefer keeping the main root controller free of keys, so if, needed a, if I needed to reposition the animation later on, I can do so freely without having to counter animate and create more work for myself. So we'll go to frame one with the offset controller still selected, edit, paste. So we'll now use a value operator to fix the direction of the curve. You can start by selecting the curve and in the value box, typing in asterisk, which is multiply equals negative one. And as you can see, our curve popped in the opposite direction, but now our character is moving forward in space. switch post infinity to cycle with offset so our character is now moving forward and we can see what it looks like from the side view you notice our character's foot stays in place as he hits the ground forward and peels off real quick let me show you the same exact steps on a walk cycle select the foot translate Z first key switch to linear foot's on the ground all the way through take that tangent make that linear get rid of the keys in between, do the same thing with the other foot, translate Z, make that linear, we can get rid of these keys, so we'll copy that range, edit, copy, the range that the foot is on the ground. We'll go to frame one, select the root control. In this particular instance, we don't have an offset control. So the root control will do. Edit, paste, our character is going back. 
So what we'll do is run our value operator asterisk equals negative one. Make sure to switch that to linear and our post infinity will cycle with offset. And there you have it. That's one of the many ways that we can animate using value operators or animating with math. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. If you found this helpful in any way, please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you all on the next one.